Okay, so I got some blades for the Sawzall. I'm gonna cut this entire rear section off so that, what's up, buddy? I'm gonna cut that entire rear section off so if someone needs it for a rear end repair, they will have it. I then can start cutting off all of the bulk of this crap. I think I'm gonna wait to do the windshield. Uh, Harbor Freight has one of those like wire saws you cut you know the guys in Rambo cuts the dude's head off with or whatever um, but you poke it through there and you can saw this out somebody may want this there's literally no bull's eyes or anything on it it's just filthy so I'm gonna try and get the windshield out before I cut the pillars and get the frame off I gotta get the wipers out wiper motor I need to get all the wiring delete done cruise control out what's up piglet are you my good boy that's a good baby. Uh, fender liner still needs to come out because there is a. The fuck is that? Oh, windshield washer reservoir is right there. Okay, so. A little bit of work to do, but I'm gonna start chopping. So here we go. I've got to say, if you have the option to do a Sawzall, long or short blade, versus these cutoff wheels, which people call death wheels because they tend to shatter because people like to bind them up and twist them and hack and push too hard. I've had them stop the saw because I use cheap Harbor Freight grinders and they don't have enough force to, when they bind up, explode, but I have torqued them a little and got them to break but I've never had them like catastrophically explode into my eyeballs knock on wood so no sparks from the from the cutting wheels that would have taken easily four of those Harbor Freight cutting wheels maybe one Home Depot or Lowe's cutting wheel but one Sawzall blade and uh, boom somebody can repair their rear end now I can get into the more intricate cuts, get all this bulk off. We're really losing weight now. So I'm gonna get back to work. And if you do it the way I did it, which is just to get it off, that's how it'll look. I kind of already see where this side pillar is going to end be plated we've just got to get all this garbage off of here cut this off about here i believe it was and then uh keep on hacking both sides are now off i just got to get this piece off and uh cut these little flanges out of here let's cut this across the back and then it should be done I gotta clean that up obviously, then remove the windshield, blah, 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 blah. But for the rear end, which isn't bad for today, um, I think I'll be done. So I'm gonna cut off some more, we'll wrap up and go from there. Don't try this at home, kids. Oh, shit. This fucking thing is gonna be so fucking fast with all this fucking metal on it. Oh my fucking can't wait and all the batteries are officially dead so I think that's a good stopping point for today a lot of cleanup work to do on both of these pillars and then I have to plate them out looks like I got into that one a little bit that's a bummer like if you like the video subscribe if you want to see more and as always ouch keep on modding